In this video, we'll learn about inherited disorders like Barter's syndrome and Gittelman syndrome in a simplified way. So let's start with Barter's syndrome. It is a autosomal recessive condition with a defect in thick ascending loop of Henle. Let's see this normally functioning nephron. Thick ascending loop of Henle has sodium potassium chloride co-transporter in its luminal side, which helps in reabsorption of sodium chloride and potassium. It also generates voltage gradient which is required for calcium reabsorption. In Barter's syndrome, there is a defect in this channel which causes loss of sodium leading to salt wasting, leading to polyuria and dehydration. Loss of potassium, also called as hypokalemia, leading to metabolic alkalosis. Loss of water, which leads to decrease in GFR and hence increase in renin and aldosterone, causing more severe hypokalemia. Loss of calcium through urine, that is hypercalciuria, can lead to nephrocalcinosis in Barter's syndrome. And thus, child presents with the history of failure to thrive, history of antenatal polyhydromnios, signs of dehydration and signs of renal rickets. Also, the child can present with sensory neural deafness as these channels are present in inner ear as well. Now, let's see Gittelman syndrome. It is also a autosomal recessive condition presenting in late childhood. It has defect in distal collecting tubule. Normally, distal collecting tubule has sodium chloride co-transporter and TRPM6 transporter for magnesium reabsorption. But in Gittelman, there is a loss of function of these channels and hence it leads to salt wasting, polyuria, dehydration, metabolic alkalosis as in Barter's syndrome. But in addition, here there is severe magnesium wasting causing serum magnesium levels to decrease. Now, we can always clear the confusion by remembering the differences among this disorder. So, let's summarize these disorders by differentiating them. A Barter's syndrome is a defect in loop of Henle, while Gittelman is a defect in distal collecting tubule. You can remember this as the B of Barter's comes before the G of Gittelman. Similarly, loop of Henle comes before DCT. Now, hypercalciuria is seen in Barter's syndrome, which presents as nephrocalcinosis and renal rickets. You can also remember this by the spelling of Barter's itself. So, A, B and C. C here stands for hypercalciuria. Now serum magnesium levels are low in Gittelman. This can also be remembered by the spelling of the name itself. M stands for magnesium and the L low levels. So low levels of magnesium are found in Gittelman while hypercalciuria is seen in Barter's syndrome. Now Barter's syndrome mimics loop diuretics while Gittelman mimics thiazides. And Barter's also responds to prostaglandin. There is another defect known as Liddell's syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant disorder where there is gain of function of epithelial sodium channels that is there is more reabsorption of sodium and water and hence the child presents with hypotension and dehydration is absent. Because of hypertension, there is negative feedback on renin and it causes the low levels of renin. And hence the Liddell syndrome is also low renin hypertension. Amyloride can be used for the treatment of Liddell syndrome. Thank you for watching this video.